they just move inventory so fast. Here are the Aldi products that are impossible to find. Number one, four tier accessory shelf. Let me tell you this, the quality is outstanding for this shelf that I personally paid $14.99 for. Here's the little game over at Oldie. You watch my video, it's an amazing product. You cannot wait to get it. You get over there and it's like nowhere to be found. I apologize, it's not my fault. I'm just sharing the goodness with you guys. The thing is they move through inventory so fast that we can't keep up. Like you have to run. But here's the other part of that game that benefits all of us. By the time you guys watch my video, things are probably clearance like pennies on the dollar. So here's a little game we're gonna play during this video. If you find any of these products for way cheaper than I paid, please share it in the comments down below so other people can see what you paid. Maybe you got an amazing deal. I know a couple of months ago when I did the wooden bowls, I paid 20 bucks for that bowl. And I think some of you guys were telling me when y'all went shopping for them a few weeks later, you're finding them for $3. So that's the good thing about Aldi is that because they are moving inventory so fast, within a week, things are getting marked down. So this shelf that I paid $15 for full price, you guys might get for like two or three bucks. That's an amazing deal because just based on what I'm seeing here, the quality is amazing and they're stackable. So you can stack a couple together and have a cute little setup. It looks like bamboo and iron. So cute. You know where I wanted to put mine? In the garage or like in the front doorway? Because I don't like people wearing shoes in my house. Are you like that? Outside shoes are outside shoes and inside shoes are inside shoes. You put a little cute shelf like this and then people are like, oh, okay, I get the hint. <laughs> I get the hint, take your shoes off. And if you don't want to use it like that, just put it in the room or put it in the assembly required, really? See, that's what I'm saying. Great quality because usually these things you just snap together. I'm gonna have to call my lover to put it together for me. Here are the two bamboo sides and then we have four shelves. Number two, gel bead mask. I've had it for so long that I don't even remember how much I paid for it. I think I paid like $4.99. So if you find it, you can probably get it for 59 cents or something. Hell, I don't know. Good luck finding it. If you find it for cheaper than I did, let us know in the comments down below. My lover's here assembling the shelf for us. He's right here next to me. Back to our mask. This one is different. You know why? Because it's like a mask, not only around your eyes, but I think it comes down lower or higher. This one is like a step up to regular masks that we've seen or tried in the video. The only question I have is, can we heat it up? It is a hot or cold therapy mask. So depuffing, right, around the eyes, or maybe you have a migraine. Eye mask combines the power of hot and cold therapy into one convenient pack. You can heat the therapy mask five seconds at a time and do not exceed 30 seconds. For cold therapy, you can put it in the freezer for two hours. If you use it warm, it will help dry eye, styes, and tension. If you use it frozen, then it is good for headaches, dark circles, and depuffing. Ooh. Wait, does it have like some kind of suede in it? Super soft on the inside. I love that too, because sometimes when you put these masks on, they're so cold or so hot and they have that plasticky material on them that they stick to your face. I absolutely hate that. But this one feels like it has, what is that? It's like, oh, y'all better find this. Look at it. Look at the inside. It's like a velvet or some kind of suede. Nice. Hey, I haven't seen a mask like this before and I love that it's black. How cool is it? Look at all the bees. Look how big this is. I can sleep with this. I am so impressed. I was not expecting the softness on the inside. Oh, I'll wear this all day. Look at my Batman mask. Y'all better look for this 100%. Y'all better look for this. <laughs> Listen, guaranteed this is gonna depuff anything up here. Look at how big this is. I love it. What a great find. What a great surprise with the softness in here. That way, if you left it in the freezer for too long, it's not gonna be uncomfortable because the cold, cold beads are not touching your skin, so it's nice and cool. Same with the heat, right? If you got it a little bit too hot, it's still gonna feel really nice because there's like a little layer between you and the actual heat or cold. Isn't that great? And look how big it is. It covers half of my face. Ooh, I can go to sleep like this. The inside of it wins an award. Or do you wear it the other way? Am I wearing it wrong? No, but this is for a good Halloween. <laughs> Am I look cross eyed? Y'all look cross eyed? I think I do. So I'm going to give the gel bead mask with a suede inside. Five Vivian heads. If you find it for cheaper, please let us know so we can be jealous. Number three Italian gelato cups. Pistachio. Made in Italy. Two cups for. 
$3.99. You might be lucky and find these in the freezer section. I don't know if these were just like limited time or something that they're gonna start carrying like on a regular basis, but they had a few flavors of this and I had to pick up the pistachio because Mm. But how cute are these special like occasion or something or no special occasion? It's just Netflix and chill night. How cute are these cups, right? Portion control. Let me tell you 180 calories per cup. That's not bad. There's some real gelato. How cute are the cups? They kind of remind me of the desserts that you get at Costco. You know how they sell them in the glass cups. These are plastic. They're not glass, but still very cute. And it says made in Italy. So they're imported. <laughs> Look how adorable they are in these cups. It has nothing nice pistachio on top. It has a little bit of whipped cream. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. Smells divine. Mm. And the chocolate, so, so good. Oh, that whipped cream is so nice and airy. Now I know gelato is a bit expensive. It's not as cheap as just like regular ice cream. So $3.99 for two of them seemed to me a little bit high, but maybe I just want everything to be $2. <laughs> I also know pistachios are more expensive. So maybe for a special date night, because for $3.99, I can get a whole tub of ice cream. <laughs> it is absolutely delicious. Listen, I'm not even getting buyer's remorse for paying $4 for two cups of gelato. Duh. Delicious. I can't even imagine how good the other flavors are. So try to find these. They might be something they carry on a normal basis. So I'm going to give the gelato cups, this pistachio one, to be more specific. I'm going to give these guys five Vivian heads. Here's our shelf. It's huge. I did not think it was going to be this big, but it is absolutely perfect for outside. You could put a little basket so you can throw like keys or purse or whatever, maybe in the garage, you know, when you're coming in, you can just drop everything in there. Look how nice it looks with your shoes on there. And a lot of shoes I feel like are gonna fit in here. Maybe you're mowing the yard shoes kinds of things fit in here. I think I'm gonna put it in the garage. But maybe it can be like right next to your television so you can put like, I don't know, stuff on it, I don't know. I, I was gonna say a DVD player, but that's gonna age the hell out of me. A lot of people have DVD players, I think. I don't know, I don't have one. I don't even watch that much TV. So I don't have one, but some people might. Maybe you can put a little basket like this so you can put the stuff from the garage in there. <laughs> It was too small for my basket. I shoved it in there. You guys get the idea. If it was on the top shelf, it would fit perfectly. Just for demonstration purposes, I shoved it in. I absolutely love it. And for $14, you're getting a nice shelf. And I keep saying for outside because I want to put it in my garage because I really do leave all my shoes out there. But the shelf is nice enough that this can go inside and, and look really nice in like a living room, even a bathroom. And because it's stackable, you can make a whole little entertainment center in your living room. Put two or three of them stacked. It's behind me now. I think you guys can see it there. Isn't that cute? I love the way the little box on top looks. So I'm going to give the four tier shelf five Vivian heads. Number four, porcelain serving bowl with lid. This looked so beautiful, but I was kind of fooled. And I always laugh at people that do this, but I thought the accessories came with it. For the price, this thing, regular price, which I paid was $24.99. They've got to be going for like three bucks now. If you can find them, good luck. I think it's huge, but I thought it brought all of this stuff for that price. If it's just what I think it is, which it is, even though it says porcelain, I get it. Is this a dupe of something else? I don't understand why the price is so high because normally Aldi knows how to price their stuff and it's pretty reasonable. This one to me was like, mm. but the way I did not allow myself to get buyer's remorse is because I'm thinking, can we use the lid as a cutting board, right? If you're making a giant salad, can the lid not be a cutting board? I think so. I think I got the idea from here, even though I don't think that's the lid, but I'm like, hey, I will use that lid as a cutting board and then I'll use it to also cover the bowl. <laughs> and if you get it for pennies on the dollar, let us know in the comments down below how much you got it for. Like this is gonna be a great scavenger hunt. First impressions, I'm just looking at the top of it. I, I like it. Now for 24 though. Ooh, wait a second. <gasps> Wow, I've never had a bowl like this. This is a total cutting board. I don't care what they say. It's still very basic, but it is so cool. Do you love it? Are you guys as impressed? Oh no, this is part of the setup. You're gonna make a salad and a couturity board. <laughs> you know, one of those boards with the finger food. <laughs> they call it couturery board. Couturity. They call it the Gucci board. <laughs> they call it a couturity board. We used to call it just like deli meat with cheese. Now they got all fancy with it. That can be that, and then this can be this. 
this or maybe you serve it like this. This thing is huge. It's bigger than my head. It's so big. Look at this. This thing is gonna make the biggest salad of your damn life. Then when you're done and you didn't finish it, put the cover on it. Maybe popcorn. This thing can be for all kinds of stuff, but I love the idea that this is also the cutting board or the something board. Chili and then put onions, put some cheese, put a little bowl of sour cream, all the fixings for when people get their chili, they get their fixings from this side. That's a great idea. So you gotta get creative and you gotta watch Vivian tries because she has all the genius ideas. Maybe you wanna put some chips in it and then put some salsa over here on the thing. Maybe you can do three different types of salsa. This bag of chips is not gonna even be enough for this. This thing is so big. It's beautiful. I still don't think it's worth $24.99. I think the right price for this would have been like $14.99. That would have been good. Quality of the plate is excellent and the size is excellent. Same with this. I My only complaint is the price. So I'm gonna give the giant bowl and the lid combo set three Vivian heads. Number five, cordless handheld vacuum. These are kind of trendy now. People have like vacuums in the kitchen just for like the drawers or like crumbs and on the fence on this one. I paid $24.99. Is that a lot? But to me it was because I'm like, I have my other little handheld that I use for the house. I don't need a specific one for the kitchen, but maybe I'm going to be totally impressed. I was impressed when I was reading the box because I had not seen this until now, but it says it has an upholstery brush and it has a suction nozzle. So if you spill soda pop, juice, suck it right up with this one little vac. So I have here oatmeal and I have juice. I mean, I guess if it works for both, my expectations and standards are just so out of whack. This is one of those trendy products that people have in the kitchen and I don't really get it, but okay. It does come with a three year warranty. So that's pretty cool. Is this a dupe of something that I don't know about yet? I feel like it is. It came in white and also in this black color. First impressions, wow, okay. Totally different from what I'm used to. I guess this is your little mount to put on the wall so that you can charge it. I bet that's the upholstery. Okay, I might love it because the other vacuum I have is kind of big. This one for just the kitchen, like the drawers when you get, oh, the pantry, you know, when you open up that sugar or the creamer or anything in that pantry, flour, it gets it all up in the shelves. Now you have a quick little vacuum. You can get all that sugar up. So I think the nozzle that's already in there is for, oh, that was easy. Okay, that's like silicone. If you can find it, you're probably gonna love it too. First, we'll try the wet because I wanna see what that does. Does it really pick up like water, juice? This is like silicone. So you're gonna be able to clean that real easily and do not not clean it because if you're picking up juice, it's gonna get nasty. I thought there was gonna be a setting that lets you toggle between like dry or wet and it doesn't. There's just a on and off. I think the only thing that's different between the too dry or wet is the little attachment in the front. So we'll start with our juice. I've never had a vacuum to pick up liquid like this. So I'm excited to see what this is gonna do. Okay, and it's not completely gonna pick up everything. Like there's still a little bit of a wet spot there. So you're gonna have to just wipe that up. But majority of the liquid is actually in the vacuum. And I'm saying, take it off now and then clean it before it gets in the filter. Is it gonna make the filter gross if we leave it? I actually love it. Okay, it's clean. Now I gotta reassemble everything. Super easy to clean. I just rinsed it off. Okay, that's not how that goes. Okay, got it. That took a second. The wet thing now is convincing me that I need this in my life. Pro tip, don't leave it wet like I just did. Completely dry it before you pick up dry so that you don't have oatmeal. It's gonna be 10 times harder if you pick up wet and then dry. Oh, that's a lot, Vivian. You did too much there. Oh, I should have put some on the carpet, huh? That is a real life scenario right there. Let's see how well it does on carpet. Not as easy on carpet just because it's getting kind of stuck on the carpet. With this piece here, oh, that would be smart, Vivian. How about you just do it like that? That part wasn't as impressive as the picking up of the juice, but let's try this. And remember, I haven't even charged it, so it might even suction up better once I get it fully charged. I don't think I need this for this part, right? This is just for upholstery. Okay, so here's the nightmare that I was afraid of. If you're picking up both wet and dry, probably not recommended by anybody, but that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna turn into a mush, so don't do what I just did. I don't know that I would spend the extra money to buy this just for the kitchen or for like small spills. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the handheld wireless vacuum three Vivian heads. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.